So good morning and welcome over to, actually Six Flags Over Texas. My original home park came on over today because why not? I really want to show Allie off the park, do this, and I'll do some rides. However, we will not be taking any GoPro because Six Flags does not allow GoPros in the park. So, but I got to catch back up because we got to get on in so we can have fun because we just the park just opened about 30 minutes ago. So this is kind of just the main entrance area right here and yeah. So it, this is not designed like some parks where you go down the middle and then spread off. Six Flags designed like a big circle. But Six Flags was the original, was in the original uh, Six Flags park over uh, 60 years ago. So definitely gonna be a, gonna be an interesting one because this also has had a lot happen over the last few years. So it's gonna be kinda cool. So right here you have the carousel, kinda with a general Six Flags over Texas. You'll see a lot of Looney Tunes carers out and about. So definitely gonna be a fun day. We're gonna be here for a while though. So Six Flags is, of Texas is divided into six different parts. So the first one I'm going into is the Mexico part. This actually has the newest attraction, El Diablo, which is a giant like looping coaster type ride where it just loops. Um, like I said, it's the newest ride. But it's supposed to be down here in the Spain section because Six Flags is designed about the six original countries that ruled over, ruled over Texas. So yeah, you can see right there, it's like one of those big carnival like looping rides, but you can really theme it like really well. So it's kind of weird because we didn't grow up Mac because I still remember this park. A decent amount of this park I still remember very fondly. To the left here, you take us over to the two big rides in this park. You have the new Texas Giant, which is the original RMC hybrid coaster, and Titan, which is the tallest, fastest ride in Texas. Now I do know Allie will not ride Titan, and she already said she won't ride the Giant. So like I said, this was the first converted, Giant right here was the first converted coaster from wooden to hybrid, which has got a steel track but a wooden base. This does not have any inversions though, um, due to the fact that it was the first, and you don't really want to go too bad crazy with it, but it is not open right now, which is kind of suckish. Hopefully they get it open soon, because I really want to ride, this is, this is one of the best rides here. So, but I think we're gonna head over here and try to do Titan, which is the the big orange coaster over here. So first ride on Titan, which is a 255 foot tall coaster. Man, it's been about four years since I rode that ride. It is whew, about 85 feet, 85 miles per hour once you hit the bottom, 65 degree drop. Um, been open since 2003, I want to say. So it's an older ride. Um, we kind of keep an eye over here on the Texas Giant because the new Texas Giant hasn't been running, and I think there may be some issues. So. Um, but I think we're going to go find something that all three of us can do because we're here with my mom as well um, That all three of us can do because Allie hasn't done anything yet and she won't do She won't do Titan. She probably won't do Texas Giant. There's a few other rides She won't do because they're too big and like too crazy So we we'll want to find something that we can all do so like I said This is the entrance into the new Texas Giant, but like I said it doesn't look like they're running it right at the moment But we are over here at the Six Flags Railroad and they have a little steam train here yeah, that's the seat, Allie. It's hot. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> it tells you you're good. All this saying was, yeah. Yeah. But, see, that's, that's the seat. <laughs> Doing the little, uh, little old antique cars. It's really fun, actually. It's like, it's, it's a similar version to the Speedway cars, only there's only one track and you're not racing. Whee! Look, there's the Texas Giants. Not running. Taking a drive down memory lane. <laughs> this is slow. It's about the same speed. What? Look, another car passing us. Oh my god, this is where the train would go by. If you could time it right, you'd be going right next to the train. Yep. Nice little scenic view. So then we're gonna do a little U-turn right here and go back. We actually go over a little bridge. Oh my god, the go-karts. The oil decker observation deck. They repainted it. Should. Well, if it's not too windy. You're the one driving. Slow people. <laughs> Look, another one says, 
take a trip down memory lane. Huh. Whee! Where you turn. <laughs> oh, this is the little bridge we could go over. And a nice little shot of Texas Giant that's not running right now. Get out of my phone. So definitely gonna do the little train, do a little round trip around Six Flags on the old steam train. Look at that. Wow. Uh, look, coming up on the sh Oh, they, they got rid of all the all the game things they used to have here. Oh, here it is. Look, then there's the go-karts. Go-karts! Tony, I used to work on way back in the day. Oh, they make them wear vests now. <laughs> what is I was trying to put it on the floor. Look. <laughs> so this is the so the one the one common misunderstanding is people say this is the first tubular coaster. This is not. This is actually the second one. Um, this is the first mine themed ride. And we're going underneath uh, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. And there's the um. There's the Batman ride. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Ali would do Mr. Freeze because it's reverse. So. Yeah, that blue one is the launching one behind us. Oh, the swings are so much fun. The gunslinger. All right, now for the second half of the train ride. So then they have pandemonium over here. The little little spinny ride. This used to be a place that I called it an intimate drop coaster. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Um, then over. So it looks like not everything's running today, so that's kind of a downer. And back over to the Texas Pavilion, because this is the Texas area. To the Texas area of Six Flags. Um, we're actually trying to head up, because I think we saw we saw a bull ride that they had that when I was here, over this general direction. Let's see if we can do that one. It's really fun. It's a little, it's kind of a crazy little ride. Um, I think we're gonna work our way around, because there was a stop that Ali saw, we saw had like, bacon cheddar ranch fries that Allie really wants to get. So up this way should be the rodeo. So this is the little uh, bull ride they have here. It's called the rodeo. It's kind of an intense little ride. It's a little crazy little ride going on with this one. It's very teacup-esque almost, but you don't have any control of the spin. It's supposed to be like a rodeo because like you have bowls and you're coming around you can see how some of them spin around. This is a this is a crazy little ride. So this is definitely a throwback. This is used to be the old Yosemite Sam's uh, water ride, but they're not running it anymore. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's gonna be. Yeah, I think we came on a, probably the last really probably slow day for them because today's uh, hours is 10:30 to 7. And the hours tomorrow go 10 to 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, it says they're making some improvements, so they're renovating it, huh? So this is the area passed earlier on the train. This is over here towards Shockwave. God, over towards the Shockwave, and their go karts, which cost extra to ride. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. It's kind of an expensive ride. Old memories there. This is what I, when I used to be, when I was like 17, 18, that's what I worked. We just did this ride right here, which is the um, Shockwave. It's one of the first ever coasters to have consecutive double loops. See right there? 
Cool. Oh, and look, there goes the steam train going by. I'm not really sure what area we are in now because even though they do try to divide it into 16 lands, it's not really that well divided. We are coming up to the Superman Tower of Power because Six Flags is all about uh, DC comic characters. It's like a 300 foot uh, tower. It's very similar to Doctor Doom's, but it looks like they're only running one of the towers today. So that come over here. So we're in like the Boomtown section where it's like got a lot of the like mini rides. So this has got the Runaway Mine Train, which is one of the first mine train style rides in the coasters in the world. So I think we're gonna end up doing this one, but they also have the mini mine train, which is more for little kids. But see, this is talks about this is an ace landmark. Yeah, see this right here, this right here. So this talks about it. it says the Titan, yeah. So, and this is made by the American Coaster Enthusiasts who are very dedicated to the history of rides. And American Coaster Enthusiasts will always tell you, no, uh, Matterhorn is the first tubular steel coaster. They talk about this was a new style generation of ride. Oh, this is kind of funny. The Dry Hole Charlie's. This is the uh, place where I saw the, uh, the chi uh, barbecue, uh, the chili bacon cheddar ranch fries right here. So I think we're gonna end up stopping in here and getting a little bit of a snack and then we'll head, I'm gonna probably do some of the rides in um, Gotham City. Yeah, just did this little um, mini mine train. It's a mini version of the big mine train. And then I think we're gonna do the gunslinger, the, you gonna do the swing ride alley? <laughs> All right, now we did gunslinger. We're gonna make our way into the area of Gotham City. Yeah, it has. That's what I remember coming four years ago, and this was felt, felt like it was kind of abandoned because they've added in the Joker over there. This whole area is still the same. It's still got Batman the Ride, which is a B&M inverted coaster. Um, little jets. It's like it's so. If you want an idea of what the jets used to look like at Disney World, these but just not black. Then you have Mr. Freeze, which is the big ride right there. So I think. I definitely want to go in and do Mr. Freeze, but I want to come over here and check this out. So, I said, so this, yeah, so this is the Riddler, the big, the big, um, oh, I don't know what they're called. I can't remember the name of them. Oh, they did take out the, remember the, that little, that little ride that was here? That's, that's why they were able to rename the other ride Harley Quinn. So they took out this one. That was fun. So this just has this has had the most rides, and it's become this is more like the ride you would see like at a state fair, but more permanent. Except that that thing looks crazy, and I want to ride that. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This so this is a similar style of ride as of like um, the old. Oh god, well, I don't know what they were called, but like yeah, yeah. This is similar to that. Oh, they're having to recheck the lap bars again. Uh, I'm not gonna put music over this because the music behind me is gonna be heavily copyrighted. Oh, this. Oh my god. That looks just. Oh, uh, there it goes upwards. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's scary. That's oh my god, it's not even all the way yet. Oh, it's like a new version, like what they have in St. Louis. There you go. Wow. So this is a hard no. A lot of these rides are gonna be a hard no for her, you know that, right? Oh, there goes Riddler. Which is fine. 
I definitely need to go do, I wanna go do Joker. So it looks like Harley Quinn uh, Spin Sanity is still not quite ready. I thought it was supposed to be open already, but I guess not, so. Pretty much in a sense, I'm gonna be going to do the Joker while everyone else comes in and watches me uh, spin around. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go do the Joker now and go lose my mind on this. Okay, so the Joker, I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that ride still. So that was, um, uh, it's, I only flipped once. Yeah, I, don't, I think the flipping depends on the distribution of the weight. If you have a bunch of people that are swayed about the same, they're probably not gonna flip very much. So essentially this area is a lot of the uh, crazy rides. So if you are into those crazy type of rides, this is the area you're gonna be in. Stuff not for Allie. Definitely not for Allie. So definitely kind of weird because like I can't record on any of the rides because like Six Flags has very strict rules about that, but it's been a, I'll tell you, we've been here since uh, about 10.45 and it's 2.20 and we still have a lot to do. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up going into the Gotham area ride, Batman the Ride, which is a very uh, copy and paste kind of ride. Um, but it's at B&M. It's one of the very first types of B&M coasters. Then I'm gonna try to do Mr. Freeze. Then I think me and my mom are gonna do um, the Texas Sky Screamer, which is very similar to the uh, swing ride over at on International Drive in Orlando. So definitely gonna try to do that. And then I think we're gonna try to do Judge Roy Scream, which is one of the oldest wooden coasters in this park. Um, and then we're gonna work our way back through the middle section. So this is the area that I remember very fondly of with Gotham City. That whole back section with Catwoman's Whip, the Joker, Harley Quinn, Spincinity, the Riddlers of Revenge, all that stuff is brand new stuff in the last four plus years. But like I said, we're heading over to that ride, which I said is the is an older B&M inverted coaster. It's one of the first styles of B&M inverted coasters. So we're gonna go over here and do Gotham, go over to Gotham City Park to do Batman the Ride. This is a cool little ride. Because you do a loop, then you do a barrel roll right into a right into another loop. So we want to watch it go by for a second. So it's kind of cool because you have the you have Batman and then you have Mr. Freeze right here. Let's see, there you go. And then after this, it goes right into another loop. Yep, gonna go ahead and do that. So you can definitely tell this is a much older B&M ride because we've written some that are within just the last three years rides and that you can tell the difference, but definitely a lot of fun. It's definitely one of those classic ones because it's one of the first attempts they made at this inverted style coaster. So definitely kind of cool riding something like that. So, but like I said, I want to go over and do Mr. Freeze now, which is the launching coaster over here. Um, but I think everyone else is gonna, like I think Ali's gonna at least walk through with me to that thing, but it actually is called Reverse Blast because when you go out, it actually shoots you out in reverse. Kind of like how Guardians will do when, it's, when it opens its ride. Shoots you in reverse. But instead, it'll then go up, spike, then you come back down and you face forward the rest of the way. That was by far the strangest ride. And I mean, that's after riding like tigers and stuff, but whew, that felt, that was a strong launch afterwards. So definitely a new, I, honestly, I thought they'd ridden it reverse, but after riding it, I don't think they ever ridden it reversed. So yeah, that was uh, that was different. All right, maybe it's time to move on down to some stuff that's a little more uh, on the friendly side. Go to Judge Roy Scream. Like I said, this is the one that is actually right when you enter the area to the left. So this is the old wooden coaster here. This is actually the oldest, one of the oldest rides in the park. So no, it's you can see it when we get through here. So right over here, this is the. It's this little wooden coaster alley. It's one of the oldest, like it's one of the oldest rides here. We already had a line jumper. Oh, and then um, American Coaster Enthusiast. So this is actually there's a little pond right here, and it's right across the way. Is that's the entrance to Six Flags. So it makes Judge Roy Scream kind of fun, as you're actually, quote unquote, outside of the um, the park limits. No, that was a. Uh, that was good. That was a good, good little rocking of the noggin. That was exciting, though. But it's fun. It's this ride's been around since 1980. 1980s when they built that ride. Well, Texas Sky Screamer is pretty cool. It's not as intense as I thought. So maybe that makes me more ambitious to do the one on um, I Drive on Orlando. So it was really cool though, because you got some really good views. You can see because with the Six Flags Over Texas, it's located in Arlington. It's between Dallas and Fort Worth. 
So when you're on the skyscraper, you can see both Dallas and Fort Worth. So those are really cool. So I think now we're starting to wind down to our last few rides. I think we're gonna try to do Pandemonium, which is a little spinning ride, and then try to go into the middle and try to do Runaway Mountain. So definitely gonna be doing the Pandemonium. So we have to actually go up and around, but it's like a, it's a, it's a early version of, it's an early version of like Cobra's Curse or like, I don't know, like Primeval World too. So it's a lot more of the, a lot more um, just lets you spin more often than anything else. So this is kind of a cool view. So that's a pandemonium. That's the ride we just did. It's a little uh, spinning, extremely intense spinning coaster. See, there's Mr. Freeze in the background. Batman to the right. Hall of Justice is a Justice League battle game. So then I think we'll head over towards Runaway Mountain. Try to do at least that one. So. <laughs> Starting to get a little on the busier side. We were, I think we were, we lucked out with this morning because it wasn't super busy. So I think we lucked out today. So Six Flags Over Texas has been open for about 58 years, and this was what the original. I think this is the original uh, park map layout. And there's some really cool pictures of it originally. So this is older than um, Walt Disney World, but not older than Disneyland. So we ended up doing Runaway Mountain, but as we almost got to the front, it broke down. So we waited about 20 minutes for it to come back up. And as soon as it came back up, we went right on it. We were in the last row. It's funny, with Runaway Mountain, that was actually a ride I didn't like for a long time because I ended up bumping my nose pretty early on and I didn't ever want to ride it because I bumped my nose. And I was like, I'm gonna hit it every time. So now I don't mind it, but it's a very smooth ride. So we stopped after everything, got our super stop at the Bluebell shop they have in here and getting shakes. Mom got a single cup. We got a blue, it's a milkshake, so kind of yummy. It'll be a nice little finish to the day. It's been a very long day, but Allie's had fun, right? You like Six Flags? <laughs> Still not as good though as Bush Gardens. <laughs> so stopped and got our ice cream, sat down for a little bit. Now I think we're actually going to make our way up to a couple of the gift shops so Allie can see if she can find a shirt. But I think we're gonna call it a day. Been here for since about 11. So like I said, we made it back up to the front. We actually were able to stop. Allie found herself a shirt she got. She's very happy with. But like I said, it did get kind of busy and it's now 5.15. And we've been here since about 11. So it's definitely a lot longer than me and Allie normally spend at a park. So definitely gonna probably go ahead and make our way out of Six Flags for today. So we are gonna go ahead and call it a day from Six Flags Over Texas. And man, what a really good day. About six hours, did almost everything. The only thing I was really bummed about Texas Giant was down for the day, so unfortunately couldn't ride one of the original RMC coasters. We may try to come out if we're not very busy tomorrow, come out tomorrow and try to do it then. May put this in there if I end up putting it in there, kind of here at the end of the late. But overall, really good day. Um, got our season pass tickets. Man, just can't, I, I, miss, I miss coming to this place. And there's some rides I forgot about, so. But with all that being said, as we do head up from a very long day here at Six Flags over Texas, we'll see y'all next time.